What's up everybody, 915 Mang here doing a video today. Hope all of you guys are doing good, staying safe, staying out of trouble. And uh, you're here to watch a video on what's been going on with my tanks. Uh, this video is called Why I Reef. And uh, I hope you guys see uh, for yourselves why I reef. The first thing that I like about reefing is the reefing community. Um, I do this not to like brag or anything like that because I definitely have had some uh, hard times with this tank. This tank has not looked uh, good. I've killed quite a lot of corals, but uh, my videos are to kind of show you what I did and you know help motivate me so I can stay on the right track. Right now everything seems to be on the up and up. Everything is getting to where I want it now. Uh, before the tank was having lots of problems uh, I still have like bubble algae issues here and there but this thing that really really was taking a lot of energy was my Aptasia problem and uh, I'm gonna show you my tank just kind of like a refresher because sometimes you forget looking at the past videos I tried to do a video every single week which is you know it's doable but sometimes it's a uh, hard so you kind of forget what the uh, tank looked like. But this video, I want to show you my Aptasia forest. And this is no joke, guys. Um, Aptasia stings your corals, closes up, you know, zoas and everything. And it takes over. It's a, a pest and enemy. And uh, as you can see, I had a ton, a ton of these guys. And uh, that's why I like to do these videos to show you the ups and the downs. Because if I'm having these problems... Uh, I'm pretty sure that somebody out there is also having these problems you know maybe not as bad as I had it as you can see I had it all over the sand bed I have it on the rocks I had it on the walls and I had it just everywhere this stuff was annoying and uh, it was a pain in the butt I tried quite a bit of things but uh, the only thing that really really worked were my buddies the Nudibrank Bergias um, it did take a while for them to work and uh, I kind of waited to introduce them because I had a RAS in my tank and I didn't want them to get ate up by the RAS because they're so so expensive but I'm going to show you guys the thing here in a minute and uh, the tank is totally night and day difference now and uh, I'm really really happy that it's gotten there so you might say what is a nudibranch Bergia. Well, those little green, not green, but like uh, gray white slugs right there crawling on the glass. Um, all over the place on the glass, on the rock. And uh, this is not a quick solution to your problem. Like I tell you from the beginning, bad things happen fast and good things take some time. Uh, for my tank to totally get eliminated with Aptasia, you know, for the most part, uh, it took two to three months and I started to wonder like I wonder if these guys are eating it how come they're not touching them on my sand bed because I had so many but they'll work from the rock the inside of the rock they'll work their way and they'll just take their time and you know it obviously worked because if you see my tank now and then uh, totally big difference from night and day uh, when I got these guys they were really really tiny I'm talking like a quarter of an inch not even that and they're like 25 bucks each so I did pick them up I did have a few I traded a few with uh, my buddy Alan his brothers and uh, I got some Zoas back so I'll show you that here later on but that's not the only problem that I had the other problem that I have is my 25 gallon lagoon check out the frags I've scrubbed them um, they were growing some fuzzy algae I wasn't running my skimmer for a while. I wasn't doing any water changes. So this is my next goal guys to have this lagoon looking awesome again. And uh, I'll be doing that. So it's been keeping me a little bit busy with that tank and the 150. A new piece of equipment that I have is a pump rotator. You guys can check that out. I really like this thing. Um, and we'll see how it holds up. But they are available uh, on Reef Breeders have one on this side and then I have an mp40 on the other side of my tank 
So let's take a close up. If you look at the front of my tank, you'll see frag racks all over the place. Okay, and that is because I started taking all, all the frag racks from my 25 gallon lagoon um, and I put them into the 150. The reason why is I decided I'm going to make this tank awesome. I'm going to start gluing down a lot of my zoanthids, uh, the different colors that I have, and I'm going to put them all over the place. I'll do an, another video later on for you, and it's going to show you a bunch of different corals. I'm just going to let them grow out, okay? They didn't seem to do too hot in the lagoon because it was just uh, basically a fishless system. I did add like a six-line rasp, but it was basically just a frag tank. And since moving the, the frags over to the 150, um, I was kind of briefly thinking about breaking down that tank. But then I said, you know what, I'm up for the challenge. I'm going to make this lagoon awesome. It's going to be like just a zoa tank basically with a whole bunch of different zoas the zoas that i do have i put them in this tank i'm gonna mount them and the other tank i'll get some different zoas probably and uh mount those and it'll, it's just gonna be awesome the colors uh, but you're gonna have to hit that subscribe button to tune in and uh stay updated with my videos guys but i hope you're noticing i'm gonna do some top down shots here in a minute and uh, I want you guys to see the big difference from the Aptasia Force that I had to the current situation now. Uh, these frag racks right here um, did have Aptasia. They were totally covered in it. But the Bergias, they did their work. They cleaned them up quite a bit. There's still a little bit left in here on these racks. And uh, that's just basically food for my Bergias. Now the bubble algae I still have. And uh, I'm going to start systematically working on that pretty much on the weekends uh, because I love working on my tank when the T5s are on. Uh, I love the look of T5. Another reason why I wanted to do this video with the lights on is because even with all the Aptasia in my tank when I had the lights off with the blues on and the UVs and you know the colors that make your corals pop the tank looked good even full of Aptasia so this is a true look a real look of my tank uh, really up to date and I hope you can see what I've been doing now the lighting that I'm using is reef breeders LEDs photon version 2 this is an old older light but uh, I got it when it first came out if you can believe it, it's like three to almost four years ago and uh, it's still going strong I get questions all the time on my other videos and I'll go ahead and answer them. So I wanted to do an update for you guys. Now the system that I added was the Aquatic Life T5 hybrid. Um, and then I, the light for me, it didn't really fit. So it's just sitting on top of it. It's working well. And But for those of you who have been subscribed for me for a while, know that the hybrid, I've been running hybrid since before they actually made their fixture. Back in the day, I was still using Aquatic Life. I love their company, Aquatic Life. Um, I That was like one of my first fixtures that I have from T5. It was just like a four bulb fixture. Then I did the retro kit, uh, which was just two bulbs, and I was running the Coral Plus. My current setup is the ATI Coral Plus bulbs, two of those, and the ATI Blue Plus bulbs. And I think they're great. The reason why I used Coral Plus is because it has a full spectrum. If you look at it, you'll see the reds, greens, whites, blues. Uh, so it has the full spectrum uh, in the Coral Plus. Now, some of my SPS right here, you'll see chunks on them because I fragged them. I fragged them because my corals were starting to die. They were starting to bleach because I wasn't testing for my alkalinity at all. I just let the tank run. I wasn't doing water changes. I wasn't dosing. Uh, I finally got a Hannah Checker and I added one of those babies and uh, it's helped me dial in my tank quite a bit and I test you know more often now um, I am dosing two part I'm using uh, two part I was using the Bionic and it's good stuff and now I'm using the Aquamax uh, alkalinity and calcium I really haven't dosed magnesium I don't have a test kit for that but uh, I am testing for alkalinity and uh, the calcium you can see the colors are looking good guys um, 
they're starting to get better i've been dosing uh, amino acids and uh, i'm using the bright well product line um, i'm also dosing um, potassium i think the potassium is great i have a little bit of iodine which i haven't been dosing that at all but the corals seem to really really like uh being it being tested now again like i'm testing the alkalinity you can see the polyp extension is still good right now my garf bonsai had took a big hit but it survived uh, it's coming back again now that uh i have a little bit more uh discipline um, i always had a motivation but discipline is doing it every single day making sure you stop being lazy and uh, it keeps you keeps you going you can see the frags do have some white spots they'll cover down they'll they'll heal and uh, everything will be okay um, i did move some of those pieces which i'll show you here in a minute and uh, let's talk about top down now top down looking at the colors is awesome because there's colors in here that you're going to see uh, that you won't notice looking straight ahead at the tank uh, i'm going to show you a piece that i have which is a walt disney it looks straight up green um, it doesn't have all those crazy colors yet but if you look you'll be able to notice it a little bit better uh, right here on the top down now i have this blue coral that i picked up from alan and uh, really really blue accidentally fragged it and uh, i got some of those other pieces from it and i'm gonna put it somewhere else in the tank green slimer is really huge and uh, I really think that they're doing well on the T5 setup that I have with the LED. Now this is the Walt Disney. You can kind of see on the base that it's kind of turning pink, but rather when you look straight at it, it looks nothing but green. Also have uh, Mohano Aptasia, well, the Mohano uh, Anemones, which are those little fuzzy uh, Anemones, which I'm gonna get I'm thinking about like super gluing them or doing something, but uh, at least my tank is clear and free from Aptasia. But that's the Walt Disney that I have. It is coloring up, finally, maybe because I'm doing things a little bit better than before where I wasn't testing at all. I want to know how you guys are doing. Hopefully you guys are doing good and uh, your tanks are doing well. I'm going to have to set up a day where I just work on this uh, bubble algae it's like one of my thing and then the uh, those two worms I'm gonna get those and break them all but uh, everything else check this one out that I got from uh, Corey this is uh, something hearts and it's starting to turn a little bit pink because before it was just green and uh, some of my other corals are like the yellowish are starting to pop out a little bit more and uh, so SPS is being a little bit more fun for me uh, I'm still a zoa guy, so I'm going to glue down some more zoas and pallies all over the place right here. And uh, I think that this tank is going to look awesome with the uh, nighttime shots that I'm going to do from, for another video. Fish have stopped fighting, uh, which I'm really happy about. Um, they were fighting when I first got them, um, tanks, but I don't really plan on adding any more big fish. I would consider adding a copper band. And I would like to get some more uh, gobies and little fish like that with different character. I'm really going to clean up this tank in the next couple of videos that you see. Of course, this is a, a process. You know, sometimes you have a chance to work on your tank. Sometimes you don't even want to touch your tank. But uh, the corals and the colors are starting to come in. And that's what makes me really excited about this. Um, you know, I think I do have some things that I need to work on but that's what it's all about for me on this channel I like showing you guys you know the good stuff and the bad stuff and of course how I did it because I want to help you guys out and of course you guys can definitely help me out because I know there's a ton of you guys who are SPS masters one guy who I like to give a shout out to is the real West Coast reefer I love watching his videos uh, he had a 5XL, 525XL Red Sea Reefer, and that tank was awesome. Still is awesome. And now he's doing a bigger, better build, and uh, he's doing top nut, 
top-notch equipment so i like watching his videos um and then of course drop them in the comments below so shout out to him i like watching my buddy eduardo uh, devil dog he has a great reef tank um i like watching uh everybody so uh drop me some comments down below and uh, i'll go check them out um follow them on instagram and uh so you guys can go check them out but everything on my tank is doing good so far and uh, there's things that i gotta work on but you know what i'm not really worrying about it it happens to everybody and uh we're here to help each other out but this is why i reef i love messing around with the tanks i love how the technology is advancing how they're coming out with better and better uh products of amino acids and technology protein skimmers algae turf scrubbers the lighting keeps advancing the flow keeps getting better uh it is getting a little bit easier for to reef um, i'm loving the new channels that are popping up for me it's not a competition at all i love watching new videos as long as it's good and uh it's fun i love uh the reefing community you guys are some of my favorite type of people you know we all have a, a common interest of reefing and corals you know you get into this hobby because of the fish and then it just becomes a lifestyle and you get thinking about coral 24 7 and all the colors and how you're going to do your new tanks and your builds and that's fun to watch and fun to see so definitely keep it up guys keep me entertained i know that you guys are on lockdown uh, we all are and uh, share my video send it to one of your buddies post it on your facebook page um, hell let's get my channel going let me know about your channel down below and uh, if you haven't comment just comment just to say hello and say what's up um, another thing i wanted to show you guys is i got an email saying that they're doing zero percent interest if you spend two hundred dollars or more on marine depot and i'm thinking about getting something new for my tank uh, depends if it is zero percent interest and then you can use my discount code 915 mang on marine depot so if they do that i'm going to be checking out something and uh, probably adding something to my tank well guys hope you guys have a good one thanks a again for subscribing for for first time checking it out hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll catch you on the next video guys Thanks, and you guys take care.